My name is Hal Baber. I was an aerospace research engineer. The last several years of my career here at Langley Research Center was in the full-scale tunnel uh, branch. So what was your, what's your most favorite memory of your work at the full-scale? Uh, it was the cutting in half an F-106 so that we could place one wing side and the half of fuselage in full-scale tunnel. There had been some promising results from small-scale wind tunnels here at Langley. There was considerable interest in the late 70s, early 80s to apply vortex flaps to the leading edges of some of these highly swept wings, which would greatly improve the lifting capability for low speed landing, but there was not a severe drag penalty imposed. And so the decision was made that aside from these small scale tests, we should test something of full scale. And the results came out quite good. So you cut an airplane in half? Yes, we had a contractor to come after our fabrication shop people had reinforced the ribs so that it wouldn't, fuselage wouldn't do like so. And then a contractor came from California and cut it in half in about three days. We accomplished that with his salary, his use of a vehicle, his per diem, and perhaps a little profit from the small, for the small company that he worked for, $5,000. So now, this is a full-scale tunnel. Why did you need to cut a plane in half? Oh, <laughs> we would not have been able to accommodate the, the full aircraft in there. And the uh, focus was not to be on drag characteristics of the entire airplane, but we needed to see if we were benefiting any with one half of the wing. So what was different about working with the, at the full-scale tunnel versus other facilities at Langley? Uh, I came to Langley in February 1951, and I didn't go the route of through wind tunnels. I came and was in the pilotless aircraft research division where our test method was launching rocket propel models at Wallops Island out into the Atlantic Ocean. But much, much later, uh, in my latter several years, I went there because I had a considerable interest in stability and control, whether it be of missiles or aircraft. And I had been involved in some of the supersonic cruise research aircraft studies done here at Langley. So was it a better facility, different facility? How did it stack up to other labs? Oh, qu quite good for the speed range that it was designed to deal with, you see.